going? Welcome to Freshwater Church Schools Out. Hey, good to have you with us today. So, this is a whole new program for children from 7 to 12. So welcome, welcome, welcome. It's so good to have you here with us today for our very first show. Um, yeah, I know it's going to be fun. So yeah, welcome everybody. So today we're going to start with something super easy. So let's stand up to our feet. Let's get up right now. And we're going to do a little bit of exercise. How does everybody feel about that? You have a bit of dancing? Yeah, that will be a lot of fun. And I've got a special guest to come and help me out because it's a little bit difficult to work out sometimes. So here we go. Can we please invite my friend Sonia? Hi guys. Hi. Sonia, thanks for coming on the show today. You're welcome to. Great, are you happy to come and do some workouts with me? I am. You are? All right, well, I'm going to be putting the music on. Yeah? Yeah. Here we go. We're going to start with some jumping jacks. Do you know what a jumping jack looks like? Yes. Can you give me a demonstration? Oh, that's really, really good. because right now we're really loving being safe in our homes during this season. So with what we have at home, how could we make Play-Doh? Right, so what you will need is some flour. I got some gluten-free plain flour right here. You're going to need some salt. That, just your regular salt, good. You're going to need some oil, canola oil, and some water. There we go, super easy. Now, what we're gonna start by doing 
is we're going to separate our water into these four bowls because we're going to be making four different colors. So I've got all of these food colorings and Sonia, which color would you like to make? I would like to make blue and yellow. Blue and yellow. Okay, grab the blue one and the yellow one. I'll make red and I'll make pink because if we mix your two colors, then we can make green. What do you think? That's a fantastic idea. Very good. All right, so we're going to start super easy. We're going to be putting a quarter of a cup of water into our bowls. So you can grab one of those into each of your bowls. Your water. Yeah, good job. Here you go, fill them right up. Yeah, okay. Now, you're going to take one of your, one tablespoon of your canola oil. I'm just gonna put, well, can you hold the spoon? Sure. Very good, all right, here we go. Ooh, let's hold it steady. Yeah, good job. So you're gonna put half of that in each bowl. While you do that, I'll put my cup, quarter cup of water in my bowls. There you go. How'd you do? I Good. <laughs> Alright, can you hold it for me? Sure. Alright, so now we're going to put one tablespoon of oil in each. <gasps> Half of it in this one and half of it in that one. There we go, simple? Yeah, good. Now, we are going to grab a big bowl, like this one, and we're gonna put four cups of flour in here. So, this is one cup, if you put one cup of flour, two cups of flour in there. Oh, do you want me to do it? Here we go. Ooh, this can get a bit messy. Oh, we'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, good job. So I need another three of those. Here we go. Yep. Good. We're flourless for now, so that's good news. There we go. Yep. And one more. Very good, Sonia. Your hands are right. Yeah. Just a bit dusty. <laughs> Just a bit dusty. <laughs> that's okay. All right. Thanks for that. All right, now we've got to put some salt in here as well. Oh, so you can hold. We're going to be putting one whole cup of salt in there. So if you can hold that. I've got some salt here. Wait. Oh, this is going to take a while, isn't it? This is even messier than the flour. I know. Look how come? I don't. <laughs> All right, here we go. Look at this. How high can I go? Catch the salt. Yes, good job. Woohoo! It's a lot of salt. It is a lot of salt, isn't it? It's got to fill the whole thing. Here we go. So, Sonia, what have you been doing with your days? Um, mainly I've been playing lots of electronics lately. I've been swimming in my pool. Ah. I actually made a custom, um, uh, what is it? Sand pit. Oh, very cool! What does that look like? Um, it's just basically a tent with uh, sand in it, lots of sand. Oh, that's really cool. You can, so you can get to play with your sand. Yeah. Yeah. That's all good, yeah, because you can't go to the playground right now. Yeah. At least you've got a playground at home. Yeah. How <laughs> cool is that? All right, that's it. Salt in there. Very There's good. Salt. I'm going to put a bit more salt, but I can't open this. So I'm going to ask our producer to open the salt for us. Thank you. All right, we've got to mix this up. So you can grab a spoon there and I'll let you mix the salt in with the flour. Yeah, very good. Till it's all mixed together. Oh, I'm going to help you. It must be good you've been able to be around in your garden and do some stuff with your family too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We got some salt without the lid. Yay! All right, we still got to put another half of cup. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. It comes out much easier now. Oh yes, yeah, so much easier and quicker. Here we go. 
Good job. Okay, let's mix this up. Woohoo! All right. Now that this is all mixed, we've got to put our food colorings in our bowls. That's great. That's great. So you can open the lid for your food coloring and be careful not to spill a lot of food coloring inside of your bowls. Because that's what happened to me the first time and it was not fun. Okay, there we go. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Oops. That's okay. That's all good. All right, here we go. You have to be very steady with Yeah, this. you got to be very steady. All right, here we go. And I'm going to put a bit of red. Yep. And you can put your yellow in too. I'm going to open my pink one. Here we go. Yeah, very good, Sonia. I think we need to have like buy bought a better brand of this, like See, those the ones sweet, with the little thingy. Yes, things. that's true. Hey, but this is good practice in um, fine motor skills. You see, there we go. Practicing today, very good. All right, so we can give that a little mix with our little spoons. Oh, in the flour. Okie dokie. Very good. Now, we're each going to be putting some flour into our bowls of water, oil, and coloring. So one cup each. So I'm going to give you this one. So one cup of flour in this one. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Very good. You can take another cup. Yeah. Very good. Yep. And last cup. Ooh, here we go. And now we can start mixing our little dough together. And this is what it, look, what it looks like right now. But we can start, yeah. Thanks, Sonia. And you can start mixing it together. Try not to spill it everywhere. But at least doing it this way, you don't get food coloring all over your hands and your fingers, which is what happened to me again yesterday, which is not fun at all. How's it going? It's going good. I'm just being steady with the spoon so I don't. Good. It'll go everywhere. A bit of water in mine because it's a little bit too dry. Yeah, good job. I can take my rings off. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I'll get, I'm going to add a bit of water on yours as well. It's a bit dry. Here we go. And then when it starts getting a little bit pasty like this, you can put it in your hand and start kneading it together, which is what we're going to be doing now. Here we go. Play-Doh! What kind of things can you make with Play-Doh, Sonia? Um, you can make a lot of things. You can make animals, you can make people. Okay, very good. I see you've got experience. <laughs> That's going to be helpful. There you go, cool. How's it going on your side, Sonia? It looks like it's about ready to take out. Oh yeah, you can put that in your hands. Start kneading it together. It might be a little bit wet, so I'm going to add a bit of that. So yeah, if it's a little bit too wet or a little bit too dry, you can adapt. Here we go. This is the red Play-Doh. Oh my <laughs> goodness. How is it? Slimy? Sort of. It's like slime, but different. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. Let me give you a little bit more of this. Mix it all together. Go. What else are you going to be doing during your school holidays, Sonia? I'm going to be doing um, maybe a few more uh, gaming, like I'll game on my computers and okay. stuff. Okay. Are you still going to be playing outside in your tent? Yes, in I will. In the sand pit? That's very cool. And I put lots of animals in the sand pit. 
Okay. Some what kind of animals, animals do you have in your sand pit? Uh, some hard animals. Okay. Animals that like uh, that are lions and tigers. Wow, very cool. Mm -hmm. That is really awesome that you can play in there too. How is it going? It's going good so far. <laughs> A little weird. Okay, I'm gonna come and help you. Here we go. This is the pink Play-Doh. Yours is much more efficient than mine. <laughs> I think it was just a question of mixing the batches, so I might have put a bit too much water in yours. All right, I'm gonna need to wash my hands after all of this. Most Let of the Play-Doh is on my hands. It is, isn't it? Let me come and get it from you. Here we go. Yay! All right, just put it in there. It's starting to act like Play-Doh now. Yep, I got it. Thank you. All right, you can mix the yellow one. Hee <laughs> hee! That was me yesterday as well when I was doing this. <laughs> okay, here we go. You can just mix the yellow one. Whoa, okay. your hands. And we're going to ask the producer to bring you downstairs to the bathroom so that you can wash your hands. Oh, in the kitchen. Yeah. You happy for that? Yep. Yep. We're just both going to wash our hands. Here we go. That is the blue Play-Doh. It's super blue, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Yeah, you put enough coloring in this one. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how the yellow one's going to go. Yeah, let's take that out. Yeah. Okay. okay, here we go. That's the blue. And here are some napkins. You can take the plate off your hands. Oh, brilliant. Now, we just have to make the yellow one and then we can make all of our insects. <gasps> yeah. That's great. Yeah, hopefully we've got enough colors to make some cool insects. How are your hands feeling? Sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm happy that with flour, it gets a bit messy, but at least we can tidy it up pretty quick. All right, you can go wash your hands in the kitchen. Okay. Play-Doh. All right, so I'm just gonna be mixing the yellow Play-Doh together. This is what it looks like when you start mixing it together. Here you go, it's a bit pasty, but when you start kneading it with your hands, and you can make a nice bowl of Play-Doh with it. I'll add a bit more water. There you go. USB audio. Box audio. There you go. And now, kneading it with my hands. You can hear Sonia there. Laughing away. There we go. All right. Probably before you start this exercise, you want to make sure that your table and all your things are covered. Ask mom to help you out. She'll be grateful for it. Here we go. That's your batch of yellow play -Doh. Awesome. So I'm going to be putting some of this stuff away so we actually have some space to be creative with what we've just made. Hey, how are your hands? Um, <laughs> I became a Smurf. Ah, right, here we go. Smurf too. There we go. Yay. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to be clearing up a little bit of our desks and our workspace so we can actually start playing with the Play-Doh. Here's your yellow Play-Doh. Oh, thank you. And here is your, this is the blue Play-Doh. That is fantastic. Thank you. And I've got the red and the pink here. And now we're just going to put everything on this little platter here. All the food coloring away. And you keep your shapes. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so Sonia, what can you make with play dart? I feel like I'm yes. going to make a few insects. Okay, what kind of insects would you like to make? Maybe a bumblebee. A bumblebee! Alright, what does a bumblebee look like? It looks like a. Um, Winged creature, yep. sort of like a fly. Yep. And um, which color are you going to make it? Yellow. Yellow. Okay, perfect. You do that one. And it's I'm going to make a caterpillar. It's 
perfect. All right, so you stop by making little balls. Here we go. Yeah, look at that. Cool. <laughs> I'm gonna make my multicolored. It's not gonna look like any caterpillar you've seen before. It's gonna look like a whole new little caterpillar. It's gonna be a very interesting car caterpillar. I think it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rainbow caterpillar. Yeah, rainbow caterpillar. There you go. I'm really happy that you came in today to the studio. Really? Yeah, thanks for being with me today to do the, the games. It's cool. It's being played out together. Great. I still got play doh all over my fingers. I'm good. <laughs> you have like a rainbow. I've hands. got rainbow hands. Yep, rainbow hands. That's what's happening right now. Everyone, if you do this, you will have rainbow hands. You will. Ask mom before you start. Alright, here we go. Yes. My little caterpillar. Oh, I think I need some blue. Can I grab some blue? Yes, you may have some, have some beautiful blue. blue. Okay, super easy to make little balls, right? You just put it in your hand and just roll your hands together. Shaboom. Look at that. What do you think? That's a beautiful cat. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want to make little eyes on my bumblebee. Yeah. Wow. You know, I've got some really interesting facts about um, insects that I'm going to give you in a second. Really? Oh, yeah. It's going to be super interesting. Oh, look at that. Now. This is my little caterpillar. My little caterpillar does not have any eyes. Let us fix that. My bee has eyes. Oh, good job. Yeah. All right. Mine's gonna have pink eyes. Yes. Ha ha. One eye and two eyes. Just like me. Yeah. Just like God made us, two eyes. Brilliant. Oh, wow. It's really cool that we have so many colors to be able to play with, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Because God was so creative when he made the earth. Yes, he was very creative. I know. Like when he created all of the animals and the insects, especially from the biggest animals to the tiniest, tiniest insect. Like an ant? Yeah, like an ant. Like how different are an elephant and an ant? Uh, they're very different. Very different. But here's a weird thing. Okay. Why are elephants afraid of mice? You know what, I don't, that's a great question, Sonia. I do not know. Yeah, most people do wonder that. Well, God made them different. But God made them both. Yeah, just like people. Yep. Yep, he made us all different, but he made us all to live together and love one another. That is a great thing. That is a great thing. <laughs> or else we'd be, um, you and I would actually be dead by now. Oh, maybe, I don't know. It's true, I, I actually summed up everything. Wow. We'd be dead by now. Okay. So, thank you Lord that we're alive. <laughs> yeah, that's so true that we're here today, that we can spend this time doing all this. You know what? If you're outside there on camera, <clears throat> hello. Hey, if you're outside there on camera and you're there and you're watching, well, you can send us as well the photos of the different things that you've created with your Play-Doh. That'd be awesome. Here we go. That's in. Be Bumblebee. I'm gonna try and lift my caterpillar. No, my caterpillar is staying right here. There you go. Very cool. Can we make a ladybird? Let's find out. Let's find out. Here, I'm going to give you some red. Thank you. Let's make two ladybirds. I go, ooh. I'm make my ladybird like this, squishy a bit. It's a beautiful ladybird. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to give her some blue eyes. Boop. And boop. Don't ladybirds have like dots on them? They do, don't they? They do. They do. And they have a little uh, thing down the back. They do. All right. There you go. Very cool. These are all things that you can make with Play-Doh. And when you finish playing with your Play-Doh, you can keep, the, keep your Play-Doh in a Ziploc bag 
put it in your Ziploc bag, keep it in your fridge, and you can have it in there for a really long time. And take it out and play with it, and then put it back in. So that's really practical, isn't it? Once yeah. you've made it, you can use it multiple times. Oh, your ladybird looks great! Thank you. Yours oh. does too. I think yours looks much better than mine, but thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. So, here we go. I'm going to make one just like you did. Yay! A ladybird. Very cool, hey? All right, are you ready for some interesting facts about insects? Yes, I am. You are. All right, here we go. Have you finished your ladybug? Yes. Oh, it looks really cute. Let's show it to the camera. Yep. There we go. Which one do you think is best? Please um, vote. I will not be offended if mine is not the best. Because <laughs> clearly Sonia's is way better than mine. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> All right, interesting facts about insects. Are you ready? Yes, I All am. All right. The maricopa ant, which is this. Look at that. Can you see it? Yeah. The maricopa ant sting. When it stings you, it stings like 12 honeybees at the same time. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. For a tiny, tiny arm, ant, that's pretty big, isn't it? Yeah. <gasps> All right. The biggest stick insect, everyone. The biggest stick insect, this one, can be up to 35 centimeters big. Do you know how much that is? Uh, this big? You yeah, that big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's really big. Okay, next fact. The Bombardier Beetle. Can you say that? Bombardier Beetle? <laughs> Bombardier Beetle. Very good. Bombardier Beetle sprays toxic solution to defend itself of 100 degrees Celsius. Look at that. That's as hot as boiling water. Wow. To defend itself. It's scary. Yeah, that is. <laughs> Stay away from that one. Yeah. The male mosquito doesn't bite. Look at that. Well, that's nice. Thank you, male mosquito. Next fact. The dragonfly can fly up to 80 kilometers an hour. Look at that. That's super fast. Yeah, that really is really fast. That's really fast. I can't run that fast. No. Mm -mm. That's as fast as a car can go up on the highway. 30 kilometers an hour. So next time you're on the highway and you feel the wind on your face, that's how fast it's flying. That's really fast. That's really fast, isn't it? I know. <laughs> All right. The honeybee, which is a little bit like your bumblebee that you made before. The honeybee, their wings can flap 90 times in one second. 90 times in one second. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so it goes 90 times in just one second. It's faster than my... Yeah, no, I can do that. I can do that. That's the honeybee. And it takes 400 flowers to make one teaspoon of honey. That's a lot of flowers. It's a lot of flowers, isn't it? Phew, so every time you, you eat a bit of, of honey, next time you'll say, thanks bees for that. It's a lot of work. 400 flowers. All right. Now, this is an interesting insect. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? The cockroach. Ew. 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 All right. The cockroach is the fastest insect. Did you know that? It can go one it can do one meter in one second. One meter in one second. Ew. Ew, I know it's really fast. Ew. Oh, I know. <laughs> All right, next one. The rhinoceros beetle. Look at that. I've seen one of those before. You have? Yeah, they're oh. very scary. They're very scary, look at that. <gasps> it's big, right? It's on someone's yeah. hand here. Well, the rhinoceros beetle can carry up to 855 times its weight. That's the same as us carrying 76 cars. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It can carry a car? <laughs> well, it can carry four, 850 times its own weight. But that's so much as like uh, if we carried 76 cars. So that's a lot. And my last fun fact on a beautiful insect. 
The butterfly. The butterfly. Let's look at a picture. The butterfly, how do you think it tastes? Um, I've heard some interesting facts. Yes. Uh, it has a little straw. Yes. As a tongue. Yeah. It, it reaches, it curls up and then it reaches out into the flower. Yeah. And that's how it sucks its nectar out. That's correct. But how does it taste? Which flower is which? It tastes with its feet. I know. With this. There you go. So that's a really cool fact about butterflies. <gasps> yeah, that's really cool. They taste with their feet. Right. Do you like insects? Most of them. Yeah, so do I. I like the butterfly. <laughs> Oh, so there we go. So that was really cool. Well, Sonia, thank you so much for coming and doing all of these little insects with me with Play-Doh. They've been pretty fun, haven't they? Yes. Yeah. They have been. They have been really fun. So, I'm really grateful today that we're able to do this. That we're even able to come and make Play-Doh and do some things together and even being at home at the moment. Has it been fun being at home with your parents? Yes. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we're going to be looking at a story together. You ready? Yeah. yeah? You ready to do some reading? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. I've got this really cool book. See? Can you see it? I can see it. Right. What does it say? God's very good idea. God's very good idea. Okay. A very good idea. God's idea was even better than the solar panels. It was even better than the color TV. That's a good idea, wasn't it? Yeah, that yeah. was a pretty good idea. <laughs> it was better than the chocolate chip cookie. Ooh. Ooh, okay. God's idea was even better than roller skates. How is his creation better than roller skates. They are the best. Yeah, they're so much fun. I have roller skates. They're pretty fun. Yeah. All right, it was even better than the super soaker, which is like, you know. A spray gun. A spray gun. Yeah, God's idea was better than a spray gun. God's idea was to make people. Look at that. All of those. Very cool. And God made lots of people, lots of different people, right? He made us all so different. But so we can enjoy, all enjoy loving him and also enjoy loving each other and being together, right? Yeah. And so it would all be made in his image because God is full of love. People would be full of love too. So that was his really good idea. So God got to work. And what did God do? He made... Do you know what that is? Uh, he made a garden. Yeah. Look at the birds. Yeah, he put lots of birds and he put people and animals together to live. And he said to them, be happy, enjoy loving me and loving each other. That sounds like a good plan. It's a great yeah. idea. Yeah. <gasps> so God, can you read that one? Sure. God carried on creating people and all of them were made in his image. Huh. All, and all of them were different too. Mm. Some were men, some were women. Some liked reading. Some had darker skin, some had lighter skin. And some liked riding, riding bikes. And some had hair, curly hair and some had straight hair. Very good. Just like you and me. Yes. Yeah. God made us all really different, didn't he? And we all live in God's world. See? Doing lots of things together, aren't we? Yes, we Yeah. Are. And we're all really valuable because God made us all valuable and in his image. Wow. But then what happened? That image doesn't look very nice, does it? No. No, it doesn't. No. Well, people ruined God's really good idea. Yeah. The first people chose not to love God. This is called sin. And because they chose not to love God as they should, they forgot how to love each other as they should. Yeah, and we're all the same. We choose not to love God. And so we are not able to love each other like we should. We sin. Sometimes we treat others badly because they are different than us. People fight with each other 
People are mean to each other. People laugh at each other. That's not good, is it? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not good at all. Because we have ruined God's very good idea, he's not pleased with us. Our sins means we can't be friends with him or enjoy living with him. We need God's forgiveness for ruining his very good idea. It's the same for everyone in the world. People who like reading need forgiveness. And people who like riding bikes need forgiveness too. People with darker skin need forgiveness and people with lighter skin need forgiveness. We all need forgiveness when you have straight hair or curly hair too. We all do. But God was not surprised by people ruining things. He had always had a very good plan to rescue his very good idea. So God got to work. He came to earth as a person. Do you know who that was? That was Jesus. Yeah, it was. It was Jesus. <gasps> Jesus loved people who were different than him. That's so cool. He loved people who no one else loved. See? Oh, that's great. Yeah. And so he healed people and made them see. Yeah, he always enjoyed loving all the different people he met. Jesus shows us how to enjoy loving each other. He's a great example yeah. of that. <gasps> but people didn't love Jesus. Instead, they hated him because of what he did. They put him on a cross to die, but this was part of God's plan. Remember, we just celebrated Easter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was what was that was all about. On the cross, Jesus took our sins so that we can be forgiven. Jesus forgives his people for their sins. <gasps> I know, it's such good news. Jesus helps us to love one another. That's amazing. Yeah, that's really, really good. You see? And one day, God will finish his very good idea. Jesus will come back and make the world perfect again. That's a great idea. Yeah. But that's it. A very, very good idea. That we are all made different, but that God loves us all, and that we're all valuable to him. It's good to remember, isn't it? Yes, it's very good to remember. It's very good to remember. So this is God's family. We're called the church. And we're part, God made it, people ruined it, he rescued it, and he will finish his very good idea. That's it. And with your church family, you can enjoy being part of it right now. His good idea, look at that. What are they all doing? They're all celebrating. Yeah, but all different ways, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. That's so good to remember that. We're all part of his very good idea. Do you like the story? Yes, I did. Yeah. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, I don't so far. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sonia, it was really nice having you with us today. Uh, thank you, Julie. Did you have fun making Play-Doh? Yes, I did. Ah, awesome. Well... What we're going to be doing each week is something different and a different craft and different things. So while you're at home, you can send us a photo and you can share it with all of your friends of what you've done. Let's come and see again what we did because I think we worked really hard on these. Look at this. Yes. Ha ha. He -he. Very good. <laughs> awesome. Well, there you go. So we'll be back next week. We'll be back next week at Freshwater School's Out, and it'll be so good to have you with us. So send us some photos, share with your friends, and see you soon. And Sonia, thanks for coming today as a special guest. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye! Bye.